what is going there we back at it again dragon ball super ve you know what i'm saying last episode king vegeta you know he, he he really out here man you know what i'm saying he got two bodies goku and vegeta again goku put up more of a fight you know what i mean just you know plot time limit you know what i'm saying etc that's how that man won type beat but uh yeah but now goku told him about bardock bardock for life Nani, you know, so I guess we want to go see him. But I think Bardox is gonna go see Broly first, though. So, yeah, all I'll do, all I hope is that one day ours comes back and uh, you know what I'm saying, and it finishes off. We see, we see that fight between Bardock and Vegeta, King Vegeta, maybe. Anyway, do what I like, man. Comment down below, subscribe. I like good jazz, subscribe. Subscribe. Low key, y'all. I'm getting anxiety for this shit. No kidding, no cap. I'm getting anxiety for a minute. I don't know. Last night, I got anxiety for no reason. About YouTube and shit. And just other shit. I was like, damn, what the fuck? <laughs> anyway, hit the bell, man. White boy. Twitch, man. Gaming channel. Links in the description down below. If you guys want to support me, cash out. Also, link in the description down below. But anyway, let that everyone we need. Super VE, the battle between Goku and King Vegeta finally ended. Mm. And just before King Vegeta left as what the a victor, glorious battle Goku it was. revealed that Bardock 2 had been revived and was currently training, mm -hmm. causing the king to remain standstill in shock. While the scene <laughs> shifted back to Bardock, where after mastering Ultra Instinct, Whis revealed Bardock would still be no match for Goku without being able to transform. Mm -hmm. Despite this, though, Bardock's extreme growth in such a short amount of time led Whis to believe there may be some similarity between Bardock and Broly. And so in today's manga, the final part of his training will begin when the uh -oh. two legendary uh -oh. Saiyans finally meet on Vampa. But uh -oh. before we begin, support this video and channel by leaving a like right now as you're reading this and Heard watching till the very end for its jaw-dropping conclusion and reveal. Enjoy. So our story continues after Whis had just revealed to Bardock the existence of yet another Saiyan who survived planet Vegeta, Broly, and the mysterious similarities between him and Bardock. Bardock, intrigued by this sudden outburst, of course, then carries on his questioning, asking, Broly, you say? Hmm, sounds familiar. I can't quite remember where from, though. I've been dead for so long. Mm -hmm. hm. I guess I'll know for sure when I meet him. Yet another Saiyan. This another is just one. like being back on Vegeta. Where is he then? Let's go find him now, sorcerer. What's mm. the hold up? Ah, damn, man. Hold your horses. These two, though, pleased at the eagerness of his student, can only look back and reply, Ha. <laughs> It's been quite a while since I saw you so pumped up, Bardock son. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. luckily for you, due to your son, I do know where he is. We can go now, but I must warn you, he is unstable. Yeah, yeah we're, it's, stable. we're working on that, bro. We're working the on progress. The mere sight of for the first time warning him of an individual immediately piques oh, Bardock's yeah. interest when as he, he queries on. He becomes what exactly stable. What do you mean by that, sorcerer? Is I got he just everybody. another powerful Saiyan? I didn't think things could get any more unstable than that Kakarot of mine. Mm -hmm. To which Whis then turns around and begins explaining further. Powerful, yes. But it seems this Saiyan in particular has been brought up for the majority of his life, restraining his power. Mm -hmm. And once it unleashes, not even he can control it. In fact, Bardock... Despite not possessing any god form himself, the last time he let loose, neither Goku nor Vegeta were any match for him, even when they fought him two on one. <laughs> yes. Bardock, of course, is taken completely what surprised by this new information. Up until this point, he was convinced his own son was the strongest Saiyan, mm -hmm. the second being Prince Vegeta, and now his whole mindset was changing. Wait, this new guy was stronger than Kakarot and the Prince? Yep, yep. That's, that's amazing. 
Bardock's look of shock then slowly morphs into a brazen smile. He, he came smile, out here in these streets and, continuing and while shocked the world. His arm in anticipation. <coughs> <laughs> Way to get me fired up, sorcerer. Now I really need to meet him. What a guy. A Saiyan with power to surpass Kakarot. And through Saiyan transformation alone. Now that's my kind of fighter. With him, right. I'm sure I can finally get where I need to be. I'm right. ready, Whis. Show me this Broly of yours. Put them hands up. And oh, with I gotta that being see. said, and his goal now resolute, Bardock then grabs onto Whis's shoulders as Whis This is the perfect situation to fuck says, on and find out. My, my. You are an eager one. You truly do remind me of Goku-san. Hold on tight. Just like that, no. the two of them blast off with the help of Whis's staff. Meanwhile, back on the desolate plains of planet Vampa, a familiar couple are seen peacefully eating mm. two chocolate bars. Oh, with, well. crucially, one remaining left in the container next to I them. Got candy. Mm. I got this juice. is good, Chilai. What are these again? Mmm. I told Hershey you, Brody, chocolate, I hope. This is called chocolate. Earthling chocolate is so much better than the ones on Freeze's ship. With the two scoffing yeah, down and finishing their chocolate bars equal. at the same time, both you know Brody saying? and Chilai's you know, you know. hands slowly reach simultaneously for the final chocolate bar, getting <laughs> closer and closer, until finally their hands inadvertently touch awkwardly. Immediately, the obvious romance and tension in the air mm -hmm. between the two is palpable, as both the brute Saiyan and female alien blush instantly. Broly can hardly speak at this point. Awkwardly saying, Oh, sorry, I didn't realize there was only one left. To which Chilai responds just as softly, No, no, it's okay, Broly. You can have it. I should be watching my figure anyway. But soon enough, as their eyes meet, a silence lands on the atmosphere as neither side can find what else to say. Slowly but surely, though, their attraction breeds a sheer magnetism Ooh, as the stupid, two find bro. themselves the face, bro. getting closer and closer until they find themselves within touching distance of each other. Chi Lai now closing her eyes <sighs> and beginning to pout her lips while the confused Broly finds himself wanting to do the same. Soon enough, huh? Broly too huh? closes Hold his up. eyes. Damn as the two get so close, even the warmth of their breath can be felt on each other. Broly and Chi Lai Maybe Broly got birth. common sense, man. Who's that? No man. But suddenly, yeah, before can't anything can happen, he sends a disturbance in the force. Having detected something foreign on the surface of planet, it's like I'm starting with Avengers, man. I don't know if I'm gonna like it. Obviously like, disappointed, but also worried for Broly, oh. questions him. Broly, what's wrong? Did something happen? He sends a disturbance Did in the force. I do something wrong? Nah, baby girl. But coldly now, Sorry. with more important things on his mind. Okay, this Broly got common sense, man. Because you know, Goku and Vegeta. Dumb Chilai, niggas are not the romantic type. Someone has come to planet Vampa. Someone strong. It could be Freezer looking for us again. I'm going to check it out and get rid of them if it low is. Key. Go Vegeta, low key. Goku and low key might be some red pill niggas. Nemo. Low key, I ain't gonna cap. <laughs> Switch the slightly overwhelmed Chilai When you think response. about it. Oh, okay. But just wait a second. Dumb niggas are <laughs> half my children. But without a moment to lose, and Broly it. shoots off at full speed. Damn. To meet whoever when you arrived think of head it. on without fear. Leaving the warrior Chilai is just screaming his dust. Broly, no! Please, be careful. Man, he's, he's straight. He really, he really fuck with him. Like, look with him like that. He's straight. And on unprecedented speed, breaking the sound barrier like a sonic jet. Scouring the area for even the slightest sign of an invader. Nah, that never was a new plan. Flies, though, though, this he thinks, shit. <laughs> Where are you? I know I felt something around here. Until finally, <gasps> over there. Uh -oh. What's that? Broly notices something in the distance. A strange alien-like figure. As he increases his speed, heading headfirst for the foe. And to his and everybody's surprise, standing there is none other than Lord Freezer, standing there atop of a rock, with his arms folded and his Why signature you here, sinister. Why are you here, it's up with you on sight, bro. Out to the saying, saying, Why are you here? Ah, oh, Broly. How nice of you to finally join me, 
my favorite little monkey. Now be a good boy go. and calm <gasps> down for a little chat, will you? Instantly, Broly is reminded completely and vividly of the death of his father. Oh. A death that was at the hands of the monster that lays before him with a smile. He begins to mutter as yeah, he cannibals to the ground <laughs> saying, Fr Freezer! Uh -oh. You... You monster! You'll pay! As the mutter turns to a yell, Make him suffer. Wave, immediately causes his eyes to turn yellow with a black pupil and the first stage of his Ikari form uh -oh. to instantly be activated. Uh oh. <laughs> hands up. Freezer with even more speed and his this is, this is a Ikari talk, think, state, right? Freezer can do nothing but stand still, curiously with a nervous face, as if it wasn't obvious that this was the reaction he would incite. No, that was Regardless, the Frost Demon then thinks to himself as the large mass of key approaches him. <laughs> hmm. Well, this is going just as planned, I think. Yeah, he kind of messed up the man. Broly crash lands right on top of him with a ferocious impact. The impact of which can be felt miles away as debris and dust particles are sent everywhere. So far away that even in attempting to be hidden Bardock, you can oh, that's Weez. Oh, yeah, okay, that was Weez. I thought it was Bardock. That's Freeza. Okay, it was Weez or Freeza. Okay, I forgot. I really forgot. Damn. So that's Broly. Doesn't look like anything special, but that is some brute strength he has. I'll give him that. What to find out? Doesn't even look like he's transformed yet with that black hair. Broly, meanwhile, is left in rage. As oh, soon as he find out, bro. he hit nothing but thin air, hmm. he looks around maniacally like a vicious animal screaming, Freeza! Come out, you scum! It doesn't take long for him to immediately spot Freezer once again. Right above him, with a provoking smirk, Freezer laughs from above. <laughs> oh, Broly. It seems even after all this time, nothing much has changed about you. How disappointing. Damn. Are you somehow even slower than I last remember? Damn. Don't tell me this is how you plan to avenge your poor father. How pathetic. Why are you father? Damn, we well, we really put push those damn buttons, the man. The mouth of his killer sends Broly into an almost uncontrollable rage as he powers up even further within his Ikari. His eyes momentarily almost losing their pupils as the floor, ground, and planet itself begins to shake under his almighty power. <laughs> Spiritual pressure. What the? Yeah, you see him. Yeah, shell shot he really him for real. On. He now realizes something isn't quite right about Broly, saying, "This, this power, it's unreal. What is that? He's not a super saiyan, but he's transforming for sure. Is this what Whis was talking about?" But as Frieza looks on worryingly, yes, it's soon That's revealed to us, the viewer, that this is no real Frieza, of course. but instead, Whis in disguise. It seems in order to bring the best out of Broly for Bardock to see, Whis temporarily transformed himself into Frieza, using his angel powers with a slightly worried figure, then <laughs> thinking to himself, Finally, it seems his full power is starting to come out. It seems the sins of Frieza still have yet to be forgiven by young Broly. Oh, hell no, bro. Just the mention of Paragus seems to set him off. It's up. But without warning, Broly shoots off once again, pinpointed at Frieza. Huh? Broly is so one-track minded at this point, mm, the hands up. instantly appears right before the disguised Whis. As Whis thinks, since when did Broly improve his speed this much? But it's not long before mm -hmm. Frieza's face returns to normality, as he tries to keep in character. Yeah. After all, no matter how fast Broly gets, he will still be no match for the speed of an angel. A god. Yeah. Man, got here, bro. And having said that, as Weave. Broly lunges in to slam his fist on Freezer, the transformed angel instantly and easily dodges the attack. So fast, it almost appears as his body doesn't how even big this move. Nigga is, bro. If Broly plays football, 
but this just serves to agitate and anger Brody more. If Brody plays football, bro, oh God. What would team be playing on? And say I was playing football and I see, okay. Now I see. We're going to get 16 that day? That game, I'm, I'm out, bro. Every game, he, every game with him in it, I'm out, bro. I'm out, bro. I'm sick. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? I got the Rona, something. You know what I'm saying? Up oh, having having a baby. And damn excuse, bro. I am not I am not about to play football with this nigga, bro. Period. You know what I'm saying? Like if this if, if this nigga's on your team, straight championships every damn year, bro. Who immediately keeps on You're going to the Super Bowl every year, bro. And, you, and winning. Though, with a cocky smile, with ease. Ops to block Broly's attack outright. Probably in an attempt to not make it too obvious to Broly that he's fighting an angel who has mastered Ultra Instinct. Hmm. <gasps> no, no way. Way. But even this leaves Broly in a state of shock, as it appears not only in speed but also in strength. Broly has been beaten by the unlikely Freezer. The last person to ever block his punch like that was Vegeta, and he was sent through a mountain for his efforts. <laughs> in a mocking way though, trying his best to emulate Freezer's mannerisms, we send flips into the air over Broly, to the shock of the Saiyan. <laughs> what now? Block. Landing calmly oh, and nonchalantly on the other side of the confused Broly, saying goadingly, <laughs> I'm over here, monkey. What's wrong? Is this all you can do? I haven't even gone golden yet. What a disappointment. Yeah, that's not a good look. With his arms folded, he then continues to laugh uncontrollably, just to push Broly even further, saying, <laughs> Oh, Broly, you really are making a mockery of your father now. What would he say if he saw you trying to avenge him with such a pitifully weak power level? Dear mm. me, I guess if I want to fight a real Saiyan, I better find that one other monkey, Goku. <laughs> but this final taunt proves to be the straw that breaks the camel's back. Mm -mm. As the Broly roars mm -mm. once more thunderously, his body mm -mm. bulging up oh, even further as mm -mm. veins begin to protrude even on his face. Well, yeah. Just like that, Broly reaches his final full power legendary Super Saiyan form. Now noticeably larger than before, <laughs> hair, a strange shade of yellow and green. Who pinned against that, bro? Pupils, now completely Who pinned against that, bro? In his range. He yells one final time. I would tell Coach, hey, Coach, Freezer, all due respect, bro. But don't fuck you. you. <laughs> my father again. I'm not playing with that nigga, man. That's, that's Broly? Yeah. But meanwhile, you see? he's left shell-shocked at what yeah. he's seen. For the first time, he witnesses a strength beyond Goku and Vegeta, and it's a power level he can actually sense for once. He immediately falls on his back in order to just watching from the ground and continuing. What is this? Whis wasn't kidding. This truly is a power to rival a god. And he looks, he looks just like a first form Super Saiyan. This could be perfect. He could build different. The fake Freezer, looking on now with a beaming smirk, pleased that his plan ultimately worked, then carries on the charade saying, Finally, monkey, it was about time you stopped messing around. This is your mm. true power, a power I only wish Beerusama had a chance to see. Mm. But I must now finally reveal to you, Broly. I know, right? I am Beerus, actually... Beerus be trigger happy. Oh. <laughs> Beerus won't want to smoke. Before Frieza can reveal he's like, actually weak in his eyes and not the killer of his father, uh -oh. the angel unbelievably finds himself caught by Broly. Put them hands but up. Not in an area he even thought was possible. As Whis yells internally, No! How could I forget? That damn Frieza also has a tail! He serves me right. Ever pretending to be a disgusting frost demon. Ooh. This isn't good. Nah, that's some disrespect. Careless. That's some disrespect. Ugh, and just disgusting as frost thinks, demon. His mistake indeed gets taken Tell that to his face, bro. By the full power Brody, who then proceeds to yell, <laughs> grabbing Freezer's tail tightly as he viciously then Sorry, pulls Weiss. the fake emperor with all his strength, 
causing Freezer to be pulled with so much force, the G-Force you know alone makes him moan in pain. Yeah, I caught lacking, bro. For long. <laughs> because Oof. of a huge crash landing that shakes the core of Bumper, Freezer is slammed onto the ground back first. Like, if this man, if he tackles you, you're, you're dead. Yells, I'm not playing football with this nigga, man. Blood! I'm not trying to die live on TV, bro. I'm not, not trying to do that. Only is the fake freezer man, go put me in a coma, paralyze my body. The inside feels the pain of the attack, having not actually been hit head on like this in millennia. We thinks, Ugh, that's going to hurt in the morning. Mm. As expected, his strength is just continuing to increase. It seems the level he reached against Gogeta was far from his true limit. Mm. But I'm not going to be the one he unleashes it all on. I to need to get through to him now. And as Broly, now on top of the defenseless oh, freezer, right. stands up and cocks his arm back. Yeah, you cocking that bit back, bro. Broly, wait, I'm weak. Put them hands up. <laughs> oof, oof. <laughs> Fight back. Over and over, Freezer is punched point blank repeatedly. His face. Moving from side to side forcefully, spitting out blood. Imagine that, imagine that animated. So. Lord have mercy. At this point, Bardock can no longer even comprehend <laughs> what he's seeing. He tries to remind himself that this is. Bardock, like, damn. My nigga really getting body right now. And I can't do nothing to help this man. <laughs> Yo, they're like, damn, I can't, I can't help my nigga. <laughs> That's the face of pure defeat right now, bro. It's actually Whis who's being pounded on, and not just Yeah, Whis, like, damn. But this can't be possible. He says to himself... He can't comprehend what the hell oh, he's seeing right now, man. He's landing hits on the sorcerer. Uh, So-called angel. Has this Saiyan even managed to overpower Ultra Instinct? Nah. Of course, not realizing that now Whis is trapped under the brute, there is nowhere for Whis to even dodge. Still taking damage straight on, attacks that would have killed any other mortal long ago, Whis calmly thinks inside the body of Freezer. Oh dear, now that he's this close, not even I can avoid these, let alone reason with him. Mm -hmm. These punches are too fast and only getting faster. I guess if I can't tell him who I am, I'll just have to show him by force. Yeah. It's a pity, if it wasn't for that damn tail. I'd have had fun with you for a lot longer, Broly-san. Mm. With this being said, from uh -oh. far off, a mysterious yet familiar staff that had been planted into the ground begins to break the ground beneath it and levitate into the air, before suddenly it takes aim at a particular direction and shoots off. Zooming across the field at a speed even faster than Broly had moved at any point, we start Heads with conviction directly towards its owner. And conviction too. <gasps> Much to the surprise of the mid beatdown Broly, who unfortunately can only notice its keyless existence only moments before it reaches him. Wait a second. What is. Me. For a moment, Broly, still on top of Freezer, can about only lay still in confusion. About to hurt. Like a deer caught in headlights. Yeah. As the staff gets closer and closer to him rather than to Whis. When suddenly, Oof. Broly is impacted hard across the face by the staff shockingly, which doesn't seem to lessen in speed at all. The most unexpected but yet effective attack Whis could have pulled off and a feat never before seen in Dragon Ball. Consequently, Broly is of course instantly blasted off across the ground to crash into a nearby rock formation, now freeing the disguised Whis. Finally! And quite mm. worryingly, in a sight the universe hopes to never see in real life, mm. after getting onto one knee and grabbing the spectre, Freezer then stands there, now on his feet, sinisterly smirking, and in his hands, holding the staff, that man meant wishes. only to be wielded by those of angelic descent. He before wishes. Before commenting, <sighs> <sighs> Well, that took longer than expected. But I'm sure even the boneheaded Broly should have gotten the message by now. On second thought, it depends on whether he's closer to Vegeta or Goku-san in intelligence. Yeah. 
I can never be sure. <laughs> There's your answer. But it seems in this form at least, Broly is definitely closer to Goku. Mm -hmm. And within seconds of crashing into the mountain, bursts out full of anger as if nothing happened. Heading straight into the fold of the fight, still not figuring out at all who he's really attacking. Stop! Enough of this, Broly son! I'm not Freeze, I am! Suddenly, the disguised Universal Emperor, who can no longer take any more of this madness, having shown Bardock what he wanted to show about Broly's powers, then suddenly becomes engulfed in a cloud of smoke, mm -hmm, which momentarily mm -hmm. stops Broly in his tracks. Smoke? What's going on? Whis! As Whis finally shows his true self, Revealing that it was him all along to Broly, saying, Ah, oh, much better. Mm -hmm. Feels better to no longer be that filthy creature. Broly, the disrespect. Do you understand now? Tell him that in, in his face, man. The angel Whis, who you fought briefly once on Earth. I'm sure you know from that experience how pointless it would be to continue your attack on me, don't you? To which the memories do start flooding back to Broly. As he mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Huh? Wait, it's you. Only referring to him vaguely, as Weiss's name was never actually mentioned to him before, until now. The angel! You you were there when Freezer killed my father! Mm -hmm. Why didn't you stop him? No. Whether he's Freezer or not. In this form, Broly's mind is in constant rage, mm. finding any excuse to attack anyone in his sight as he lunges at Whis once more. But this time, Whis yeah. has no reason to pretend. Yeah, I'm playing this game the you, man, bro. As expected of an angel, Broly's punch is stopped easily with just a single finger of Whis's. That is ridiculous. Well, hello <clears throat> to you too, Broly. But let's not waste our time with such a futile action. I have someone better you can fight. Someone you may even recognize. Mm -hmm. And as if just on time, behind the pair, a set of feet slowly arrive. Landing with a thud before revealing themselves to be none other than Bardock. Yeah. Straight faced with his arms folded, now no longer hiding, having seen. I don't know why you got that straight face, needed. like, like, right. <gasps> you know you're kind of shaking a little bit. Kakarot, it's you. You finally came back. The sight of the familiar face, of course, immediately stunning Broly, who naively mm. believes it to be his now friend, Goku. <laughs> immediately, as if like magic, the enraged Broly that then nigga completely down like a back to base. Sheesh. His now visible oh. again, and a smile My on his face as he looks oh, on good? at who he believes sure. is Goku. It seems, after the way things were left, Goku has become a calming source for the Saiyan. Bardock, having expected this, just smirks, knowing exactly what's going on, thinking, <laughs> It's just as we said. He's completely fooled. Yep. Maybe that sorcerer is good for something after all. <laughs> as Broly calls out, Kakarot, you took your time. I thought when you said you'd come back to train, it'd be faster than this. But I'm happy you're here. And Bardock in response to this just remained silent. Just walking towards Broly, trying his best to not get <laughs> away. Like he took who he really the door. It's like he just he's strutting towards Broly, until... bro. He's strutting. <laughs> oh. <coughs> with extreme speed and accuracy <coughs> picked up from his training with Whis, Bardock shockingly <coughs> plunges his fist Oof. deep into the gut of Broly, causing the younger Saiyan to retch in pain. Mm. Chakarot, what are you doing? To which a cold you know, bottle just, you know, just looks back and Start on check. To see everything's in order. How you know what insulting there? to think I look as ugly as that brat. I'm no Kakarot. I'm his father. You can call your own son ugly, huh? Nigga, you're twins. That's crazy. That's crazy to me, bro. Take that scar off, nigga. Y'all look exactly alike. Y'all twins. You gonna call your own son ugly, bro? That's crazy, man. Gonna be me. Then again, maybe I don't know. And you know, standing this close to you, 
I finally just realized who you are, Broly. You are the son of Paragus. The son of my brother. <laughs> I forgot about that. What did he just say? I forgot about that. I forgot about that. That would be an interesting plot twist. Low key, like in and like legit canon Dragon Ball, that'd be a crazy plot twist. Type beat. I ain't gonna cap. But it ain't gonna happen because like it would have happened during the Broly movie because Paragus would be like, uh, brother? Brother? But nah. But that that'd be crazy, bro. Hey! Them niggas cousins, man. Shocking information, of course, leaving Broly almost speechless. And us viewers too. For the first time ever, a connection between Broly and our hero Goku has been made in the VE universe. Mm -mm -mm. Whis, meanwhile, who this is also news to, is so equally like, surprised, ooh. but far more withdrawn in his reaction. Mm -hmm. Having been surprised by these sayings one too many times already, as he thinks to himself, My, my. Well, this was an interesting turn of events. That's what I'm saying, huh? We came here to this forsaken planet to examine if my hunch about their similar powers was true. But this... This may just explain everything. Right? <laughs> Some time then passes on Bumper, and the three get like reacquainted that. with each other <laughs> in a more relaxed environment, with more details over why Whis and Bardock even came being shared, and also more information about the shocking family connection between Broly and Goku. Broly hmm. begins. So, if I understand this right, you're telling me you're my uncle and Kakarot Family. is my... And Bardock, now butting in with a smile, then reassures. Yes, Broly. Kakarot is your cousin and my son. <laughs> I truly can't believe how things turned out. But for both mine and Paragus' sons to have survived, this just seems like fate. Mm. I only wonder now if Turley's son survived also to complete the trio. Broly hearing the name Turley's for the first time is then left even more confused, questioning. Oh, son, he got. Turley's? Who is that? Another Saiyan? Father never mentioned any Saiyans. Other than Kakarot and Vegeta. And so Bardock, mm. understanding the overload of information Broly must be dealing with, then explains Yes, Broly. Turley's is another Saiyan from our home, planet Vegeta. And he is mine and Paragus's other brother. And your other uncle. Mm. There were three of us myself, Paragus, and Turley's. And as far as I can remember, we each had sons all around the same age. It happened so long ago, but I even remember seeing you as a baby, Broly. You were said Damn, to have a ridiculously high this. power level, but it wasn't long after that that Planet Vegeta was destroyed and me along with it. I had no time to spend with my own son, let alone with you. When I eventually saved Kakarot, I'd hoped to save you too, but for some reason, on that fateful day, both you and Paragus were missing. I'm guessing that old geezer one-upped me and had the same idea. But it's amazing Not to see what you have grown into and your incredible power, especially on this hellhole. <laughs> I hope you know my brother would be proud. A somber mood then falls on the scene as Broly looks down in deep thought thinking, my my father's brothers. I can't believe this. For all this time, I thought I was alone, that it was just me and father. But why? Why would he never say a thing about you? But unfazed by Broly's valid questions, with folded arms and a serious expression, yeah, God, Bardock explains further. Look like a menace well, to society. That answer is simple. If you hadn't noticed already, it's because we Saiyans are not the most brotherly and family orientated. It's often that we are born with siblings, but you should know, not long after conception, Saiyan babies are sent off with teams of other Saiyans to destroy, mm -hmm. splitting apart siblings immediately. Those random team members we grow in battle with then become more our family members than anyone else. Heck, 
Both hmm. Kakarot and Vegeta have siblings too. But you wouldn't know it the way they go on with their lives. Facts. Your other cousin Raditz is dead according to Kakarot. Yeah, he... And as for Prince Rebozo. Vegeta's brother Tarbo, I don't think even he knows where he is right now. This is just the Saiyan way. Unfortunately, that's how it is. is. Unfort and always has been. Unfortunately. Broly now having heard this explanation be me. slowly begins to rationalize the situation, responding, Hmm, I guess that's true. In just this short time with Chila and Limo, they've grown to be more than just friends. But tell me then, why did you come here then? Just to tell me you're my real family? Because if that's the case, I already have one, and I don't need any more. But looking That's down, much. almost with a <laughs> bored and unbothered look, Bardock says, <laughs> Don't make me laugh, kid. I saw Kakarot for the first time in decades, only a short while ago. I'm in no mood to play uncle with you. Before yeah. then, nonchalantly pointing at Whis and continuing, The real reason I'm here is because of that angel over there. He's been training me. And he told me he saw great similarities between us. So I came here while he pretended to be that freak Frieza. I <laughs> observed those incredible transformations of yours from afar. We seems to think I could very well master the same forms you use. I didn't believe it at first, but <laughs> now that I know we have the same blood running through our veins, I think he may be onto something. Right, so right, Broly, right. Are you up for it or not? But upon hearing this, Broly appears with a mixture of relief and disappointment. No. As he lets out a big sigh and says, <sighs> So that's the reason. <laughs> I should have known being Kakarot's dad, it'd be something to do with training. Before then jumping off the rock face and landing on the ground. Almost as if done with the conversation entirely, Broly then turns his back and begins walking away, much to the surprise of Bardock who asks, Man, like, I'm good. What now? Where are you going, kid? To which Broly looks back while simultaneously walking away and says, I'm going home and not coming back. Damn. Listen, I appreciate you coming all the way here, but I'm not interested in taking on a student. I'm here just to survive and take care of my friend. My new family. Well, go to another they planet, nigga. Go to Earth. I can't be leaving them alone while I waste time. You can't go to Earth, my nigga. Fighting an equal like Kakarot is one thing. But training an stable. old man is another. I'm sorry, but if you truly came here expecting me to say yes, but, yeah, just, just to find another planet to live on. Yeah, yeah. Trying to not make their trip wasted, then calls out to Broly and says, "Wait, Broly, son. You know, if you do agree to train Bardock." I could arrange for Goku and you to meet. You know what he's like. He's probably forgotten. Oh, and I can even get him to bring you more supplies. Chocolate! The one he gave you before must be running out by now, right? Don't you think this new family of yours would appreciate another year's supply of delicious earth food? And suddenly, Broly's face changes, seemingly tempted. 180 cuz by the mention of fighting Kakarot again. Instead Did you say chocolate? Uh, chocolate? Can, can that year supply of food include a year supply of chocolate bars too? As a wave hmm. of imaginary bars fall from the sky in his daydreams like a slot machine. I mean, wouldn't that shit get Weiss, oh. now knowing he's got his man, then with a sinister look oh, replies. It, like get spoiled and shit. Oh. Why, of course, my dear Broly. Over time. More chocolate bars than you could ever imagine. In fact, how about I add two years supply instead? Two years? Now that's what I call it. It's a gonna deal. expire. All right then, let the training begin, Uncle. Instantly causing Broly's face to light up and his demeanor to change. Family. As he now completely real, accepts to train Bardock for the sake of sweeties. <laughs> Man said, put them hands up, bro. Just I want my chocolate. Looking awkwardly on at this exchange as he finally mutters, That's... That's what made you want to train me. Not the love of battle, but chocolates. 
These second generation Saiyans are truly something else. Mm -hmm. Paragus, wherever you are, give me strength. You gonna need it. But that was it for today's <laughs> video, guys. You if gonna you need it. This far, leave me a hashtag BE17. BE17, bro. I love this fucking movie, man. Oh, uh, man. I love that movie, bro. I can watch that shit on repeat. <coughs> mm. Some water. Damn. Anyway, this was like a longer one. We got two more, and then we'll be done with Dragon Ball Super BE. Unfortunately. I mean, we still got to Vegito, so that's a dub. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I might, I might, uh, I don't know. I might try to look into some other like narrations of like fan manga. Cause I really do. I do like fan manga low key. Like, let me see, what's, what's the one? Like, I like, I like the idea, but like, I don't think I liked it that much. Like when Goku went to the Naruto world, like it was a cool idea, but I don't think I liked that one that much low key. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like how do you, you, you know, you guys know what I'm talking about. I don't know what, I don't know what it's called though, but I ain't like that one that much to be honest. That'd be, but yeah, I might try to find some more uh, narrations. Real talk before I started, like you know, what I'm saying, putting artist videos on my channel, just talking and reacting to them. I was watching them before. Ours put me on to like to like, uh, well, he got me into like you know, what I'm saying like fan manga and fan manga like narrations type shit. You know, what I'm saying type be. So yeah, talk, talk to that man, Arch. Type beat, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I really want my, I really want my man to do like a narration of a uh, Dragon Ball Kakumi, man. Oh my god, I haven't watched, I haven't read it like in a couple months. I'm behind, like on a couple of chapters. Type B, sorry, I, I gotta start reading that shit. I'm, I'm gonna read it today, low key. I'm, I am behind. Damn, what? What? I left off. I know we started. You know what I'm saying? Doing the training shit. Okay, Vegeta was on one planet. Sadala with I think the universe six Saiyans. Right? I think Kabu became a Super Saiyan God. Right? I'm gonna think about something else. I think that's Kakumi. Or that's a, a, another one. I don't know. But uh I digress. Anyway, thank you for watching. You guys enjoyed the reaction, man. If you got a like, man, comment down below. Subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe? Yes, indubly, my nigga, subscribes. Yes, follow me on Twitch, man. In the gaming channel. Let me just get it down below. You guys want to support me? Cash up, all the links in the description down below. But anyway, thank you guys. Thank you for the support, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.